Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. This video is on a request from one of the comment. Uh, the, pers they, the person said that they want to see the splash screen uh, on the mobile app. So thank you for the request. And also if you guys have more requests, please feel to put it in the comment section. I'll try my best to complete them. So getting back to the mobile application. Sorry, PWA most probably. So how does it work? So the thing is, when it comes to PWA, it is easy to have a splash screen on Android devices as compared to Apple devices. But the trick here is if you have correct image resolution for each iPhone's orientation, then your splash screen will work. So the best thing to do is there is a package known as PWA Asset Generator. So this line, as you could see, it only generates splash screen and we just want this. So it will generate splash screen for all the device orientation for us and we just have to give it the image. Now the thing here is, if we are using Nuxt PWA module, then we only need splash screen because other meta tags and everything, we can modify that. The, the, the module, like the PWA module only likes the splash screen feature. So let's see the, like, let's see how it works. So. What I'm gonna do, opening my VS Code, so I already have this Nuxt app, uh, which I'm being using for almost all the Nuxt tutorials. So please do check out my Nuxt tutorial uh, if you haven't seen it before. And also, this video is extension of my PWA, Nuxt PWA uh, video. So I won't be explaining the previous step of PWA setup. Uh, I would just request you to see that video because we will be carrying it forward from the point where we left last time. So. I'll put the link in the description, so please don't worry. So what we need to do is here, uh, what I need to do first, I need to go to uh, nuxconfig.js and here, if you see, uh, where is the PWA module? Yeah, here. So here we have it, but the thing here is this mobile app iOS is by default is set to false. So we have to set this to true. What this this what does this mean is it will add the functionality of a meta tag or by via a meta tag in your meta tags list of HTML where we are saying like where Apple mobile web app something like that set to yes and that's what we want to make this thing work so we just this is via Nux PWA module we will go to our uh, splash screen PWA Nux generator later but let's first uh, do this configuration first. So mobile app iOS set to true, great, first step done. Now next step, give it. <laughs> and now next thing to do is we need to add those splash screen tags. So I'll tell you what they are. But before that, we need to create in somewhere in the assets, we just need to create a index.html. Now remember, this index.html is totally different than what Nuxt uses for its index.html. So this index.html is just to it's just for our reference for to get those all meta tags that our package which like the PWA package is going to generate. So what I'm going to do uh, going back to the browser over here you once you install this so it's a great package I came across uh, while reading some resources. So this you could do it like a global install or one time install. I have done one time install so I'll just uh, do npx I've just done this npx PWA asset generator. Now, next thing to do is go all the way down and here you will see a generating dark and light mode splash screen images. So if you want, if your app supports both uh, modes, dark and light mode, you could have them generated separately. But my app is a simple app. So I'm just going to use a simple uh, splash screen. So I have already copied this command because the command is big. So I'll just uh, explain you what we are doing exactly here. So I'll just go to my terminal over here, paste that command, and this means PWA asset generator, like the package, I run that package with particular option. So I have a logo, so I'll just show you a logo over here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this one. So I want to make this as a splash screen, okay? So what this command is doing is, it is saying, okay, take this image, put it in the assets from the, so put all, whatever we want to generate, put it in the assets folder, and that assets folder would be this one over here. And it is saying that generate splash screens only, the so splash only is a flag over here, type PNG, quality. Uh, so let's 
increase this make it bigger yeah so it is saying let's start again so P uh, pw asset generator this file put all the uh, splash screen in the assets folder have them type png uh, put them a quality image with the AT I guess it, this has to do something with the index so we'll go back to that again uh, actually it's only the quality and the AT has to do something with this this index means index.html so we need to provide a index.html file where it can dump all those meta tags so we are saying okay go to the assets folder there is index.html just pick that index.html and put all the meta tags over there so let's see there must be something on this quality so if i do quality okay so it's just image quality for jpeg or for png as well i guess uh, we could use this let's let's try it for png as well so it is just uh, 0 to 100 okay no problem so let's go back again over here to our command and what we need to do after this is set enter <laughs> and let's just wait for two minutes or it's less than two minutes actually for it to generate all those uh things for us so as you could see now it has started generating images one after the other so what we need to do now so it's also created that index like it added things in index.html so if you see in the assets folder it created all the splash screen for apple so if i go over here so you will see it automatically oriented and uh, made images of each device size so we don't have to worry on this as well now if i go to index.html here you will see it has given you all the link tags so you don't have to worry on getting those link tag as well and this is the one we need to do it for our pwa module of nuxt so this has to be set yes in to, for this to work now what i'm gonna do all this link tag i'm gonna dump over here okay so what i'm gonna do uh just copy all of this and if you are aware of nuxt config.js link uh, section so here you could have set of json objects in a key value pair of relation and whatever the rel tag is and then href and all those other parameters so i have copied them before as well so it's pretty simple so i'll just dump them over here first so here we just need to remove this link tag so i'm gonna just say control h and do it with this and uh, okay let's uh, let's do control it again and also remove the space and next thing is uh this equal to needs to go so let me see if there is an equal to anywhere no okay so let's do equal to with uh, colon okay and let's do this with a comma because it's a key value pair comma separated so we just need a comma separated here uh, so we cannot comma separate this one so what i'm gonna do i can comma separate this one so control h and uh, there are 26 yes so media oops comma media so that comma separated and here we need to remove this angular bracket so what i'm gonna do just put this there are 26 yes and let's do this perfect and also no actually what we need to do is uh control z we need to do comma because they are comma separated so this should be good now okay now next thing we need to do is here we need to just add all the images in a separate folder so it's nice and clean so what i'm gonna do uh just do a bulk select and let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see uh here 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 oh sorry oh uh, here sorry and then over this and my image my oh, this thing it notes that it has to look in static folder by default so this static folder somewhere this one yeah so what we need to do let's create a folder there we will create that but i'm going to name it pwa splash and in that pwa splash all these images are going to come so what i'm going to do go to static folder new folder pwa splash perfect now next thing to do is just copy all these images in there so i'm just going to go all the way down uh, control x and where is pws splash over here so let's just paste it in here uh, 
so it, all images are there now next thing to do is remove this index.html because it's job is done for us thanks a lot and take this now we are good to test so how to test go here and run npm run build so that it will create all the manifest and everything for us bundle it up so that we can test our pwa mode on our development server so npm run build let it build take will take our hardly one or two minutes oh, sorry for that <laughs> okay yeah it's just my laptop sorry for that and okay so we are all done here and next thing we need to do is just npm run start npm run start and this will start a production environment server for a local server for the local development mode so what i'm gonna do go to my this app quick refresh and if i go over here in the dev console oops sorry here you will see that it should have those yeah, over here it has those pwa uh, assets oh, sorry meta tags and link tags that we need so we don't have to worry on that it will generate for us so if you see like this is the splash screen mode image now what i'm going to do uh, to test this on my mobile i will use ngrok so let me quickly set up the ngrok so it's already there i just need to type my url so ngrok uh what was that http http and it was local host 3000 so if you're new to ngrok it is just like uh it extends your local server for public use so you could test it on different devices so because if i try to run local host 3000 on my mobile it won't work because it's only it, like restricted for my laptop so that's that and this is the ngrok url i'm interested in so let me start uh, okay how to do this let's start app power mirror okay so let me bring it here okay and now i need to plug in my mobile to laptop just give me a minute should be there perfect and it's, uh, it will now share my screen quickly so till then i will add it to home screen okay add it to home screen and oops i need to type the url so let me type the url 311c8774 1338.ngrog.io okay so this is good and running taking time so let me refresh the page again so okay let's try again so 311c 8474 okay that's great and yeah so we are getting request app is getting loaded okay good now next thing we need to do is add to home screen add it and now we just need to wait for this to connect i'm not sure uh it's not later i'm not sure why this is taking time let me try this again so sorry for this okay uh, usb Okay, it's connecting now okay it's connected now i can just open this and you will see the splash screen is there i'll just close this again to show you now if i go over here weather and there is a splash screen so this is how it works very simple to do uh, so let me know in the comment section if you have any questions so well, that's all for today hope you enjoyed this video and please if you like this video uh, hit the thumbs up button if you feel that this video is worth sharing with your network, please feel free to share it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. So that's all for today. Till the next time. Goodbye.